Few places off the Striper Coast elicit such strong emotions from anglers seeking to set their personal bests in the pursuit of striped bass. Block Island is one of them. And because we'd fished the night tides with such great success, Captain Jody Ori and I were eager to see what this morning's ebb tide would deliver. Okay. So get in here, buddy, huh? That's we just a set a one. personal record for on the water fishing at night time, fishing awesome. any time. Yeah, I think he, he peeled off some line. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Here he is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a better oh, yeah. fish. That's a good fish, Chris. <laughs> Joe, nice I'll tell fish. you what, I haven't gotten one like this in a little while. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. You got the tail, Joe? Yep. We're gonna get a real nice release. Got good water. Oh, God. And couldn't, couldn't even hold on to it. <laughs> nice fish. Joe, brother, nice thank fish. you. That's awesome. You don't need to go to the gym after, right? No. <laughs> that's awesome. One crank, that's it, that's it. One crank right off the bottom with this current going, we're going 2.8 miles, 2.5 miles an hour. And uh, one crank is good, that's all you need. I wanna get back in there. We're still in the sweet spot right yeah, now. Yeah, we're still good. I think we can each use one eel. You know what? Actually, let's go back up there. Let's make a new drift. Yeah, you wanna do that? Yeah. Cause we're out of the water right now. This spot, especially this spot that we're at right now, it's actually a big, deep crevice. Like there's, there's, it's a valley down there with just a couple big boulders that they hide behind. So they're just hanging and in And on there. each side of us, there's 30 feet and 40 feet, uh, oh, 39 wow. feet of water. So I call this the Striper Highway. Cause it's Doesn't just- Doesn't look just like an ambush bait yes, coming across. Pretty it's much. Off. I think they like the squid and I, that imitates a squid very well. Right. Satchad and uh, you know, eel, eel imitations. It's funny though, like you, I came out here with Bunker before and haven't gotten nothing. a hit. I've came out here with the mackerel yesterday, yeah. no. nothing. Soft plastic, squid, like live squid. If you can get live squid and drop them down. Automatic oh, too. Oh, oh, oh man, we saw a lot of fish before the rip. I think because it's so calm up here, this is why we'll probably need to use a Lighter line. Because we're in what? It's 50 feet of water? Yeah. It's clear down there, though. That's what's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I dropped my leader by 10 pounds and bumped my weight up by an ounce. And I was ready to dial in this fishery as Joe had all night. With the boat repositioned, we lowered the eels just off the bottom. There he is. Oh, just popped, just popped him. I didn't get a good set on him. I should have whacked him again. Block Island is truly much more than just a fisherman's paradise. With beautiful beaches, stunning scenery, and year-round ferries, it offers a fantastic escape for those seeking rest and relaxation, as well as some of the best fishing opportunities on the East Coast. Seeing Block Island from the sky really gives you a great perspective on how dramatic its landscape is. Judging by the way the cliffs fall steeply into the water, it's easy to see how glaciers, thousands of years ago, helped form a striper highway along the ocean floor around Block Island. Two times of the day that I think are just magical. This time right now. Yes. And then that last light. Yes. Couldn't agree with you more. All right, let's go back up there. I wonder if they're on anything there. You want to go back there and take a couple caps? Oh yeah, there's actually, I think, fish underneath them. That's see what I mean. I thought I'd see them right there boiling. Yeah. Yeah. They're, coming, they're boiling pretty good. We should drift down on them, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to drift right into them. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely hitting over here. Oh, we're on, we're on. 
Nice. Sea bass, I think. Eh, maybe not, could be a bass. So I was fishing the ocean born lure and so lifelike that the birds would not leave it alone. I had a bird pick it up before it dropped and I didn't hook it. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Uh, you know what this seagull is just chasing this, so I'm gonna not, not even. Alright, we came to Block Island for striped bass, not for birds. Is this one got a kneel on? Yeah, that one's ready to go still. Now, Joe, do you find that like you'll come out here and it'll start to slack off, you'll kind of lose them, they'll drop off, and then you'll wait a little, you know, pretty like, much, yeah. 45 minutes to an hour, and all of a sudden that water starts picking up again? Yeah, once that water really starts picking up a little bit, you know, going, like I said, above 1.8, 1.9 uh, uh, miles so an hour. So these fish aren't leaving, they're staying here, they're just waiting for the water to move to bring bait towards them. Pretty much. Calmed right down now, huh? Yeah, it really did. Joe, I know you said around 7.30 that tide was gonna let go, so it feels like it's just about that. We just made a drift, no action going on there. I know that one of the things that we were talking about on the way out is all the different opportunities that exist around Block yes. Island. So, are you were talking about maybe some, some fish for the dinner table. Yes, yeah, we can definitely go out and get some sea bass. Um, you don't actually don't even need bait here. That's the best thing about this place. Uh, you can go out there, you have soft plastics. Uh, I use the Cobra Bait, Cobra Bait Sad Shads. I put them on like a half ounce, a one ounce to two ounce jig heads. Uh, drop them down the bottom, just jig them real slowly and you can catch some really, really good eating. And how bass. far of a run is that from here? It's probably like a mile and a half at the really? most. Really? Yeah, it's really, really close. There's uh, multiple different spots that you can go fish, whether it's that way or that way or that way. And it's all pretty much in a mile and a half area. So that's our cue to put something on the dinner table. Guys, black sea bass is in season down here. Just off the coast of Block Island, we picked up some beautiful fish. Joe put on a clinic as the hometown guy here. Joe, what do you say? We fire up the engine, get over there, see if we can't grab some, some dinner good. for the table. Well, we've been fishing around Block Island all morning. Got here at around, uh, I'd say 3.30, give or take. Yep. And you would never know it. We haven't seen Block Island. It's been fog the yeah. entire time. I'm gonna take Joe's word for it. <laughs> he could have brought us to a secret spot. Never know. The bottom is littered right now. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's a porgy that'll keep you up nights, that one. Even during slack tide, there are great fishing opportunities around Block Island. With a break in the action, Joe and I decided to try our luck catching some dinner fare for the table. There we go. Oh, that was a quick setup. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's, that's a good eater. So let's, let's put this in perspective. He's got the biggest striped bass, the biggest porgy, and now the biggest black sea bass. Come on, Chris. But if we were fishing in our waters. It'd be a different story. It'd be totally different. It'd be a different story. He'd only have the biggest bass and the biggest sea bass. I'd have the biggest porgy. Local knowledge, right? Uh, local knowledge goes a long way, but the angler also makes a big difference. With a sleepless night behind us and the current beginning to pick up, Joe and I had just enough time to recharge the batteries before the bite was back on. We're probably actually going pretty good right now. It's already saying 1.7 and we just stopped, so. We picked up some really nice fish this morning. We got out, we started fishing around 3.30 or so. I'm gonna try to grab one quick because I know Joe's gonna get one before me. <laughs> We're going two miles an hour right now. There we go. Second half of the day is yours, Chris. 
They all act differently, you know? Sometimes they get to the boat and all of a sudden it's like, I'm out of here. He's staying down though. We're 10.40 in the morning and we're catching fish. It feels like 5 p.m. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Just solid, look at him turn. A little color there. Beautiful fish. Look at the head on that. I'm gonna just That's walk him right in. Look at the mouth and the shoulders. Let me go back towards you. Nice Kung Fu grip on him. Block Island. That hook just popped right out. I just saw like it on that. the top, on the roof of its mouth. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. This thing. <laughs> Hey guys, fishing with Captain Joe DiOrio. Yep. You just got your charter license a year ago. That's I it. know you've been fishing for many, many years, but just got your charter license and he has this dialed in. <laughs> guys, you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com from Chris Megan, Joe DiOrio coming to you from Blanc Island, even though we've never seen it in this fog. <laughs> guys, great day today, huh? Great time, Chris. Beautiful. Nice fish. Brother, that was nice awesome, Joe. Awesome, man. Thank That's you. That's what's up. That's a nice fish. Yeah. You want me to go up on it? Uh, yeah, thank you. I'll go right on it. You're good. Still dumping? Yeah. I, I hit him twice. You want me to back down on him? He's okay. I got plenty of line. Well, he made a great run. It's a good fish right there. This guy's coming up to the surface out there. Oh, he's getting close to the boat. He's gonna make another run. It seems like the big fish just make those steady pulls. Yeah. You know? <laughs> seems like during the daytime, they fight better too sometimes. Yeah. I haven't touched the drag and I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it right where yeah. it was. Let that reel do the work for you. 48 feet. Seems like a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, Chris. Look at that thing swimming. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the shoulders in this guy. Get away from there, get away from there. All right, Cap, I'm gonna back up and bring him to you. Sounds good. He's ours. Wow, huh? Look at this guy. Nice fish, Chris. Middle of the day, guys, fishing Block Island. Captain Jody Oriole, Chris Megan, watching On the Water's Angling Adventures. Uh, maybe 36, 38? 37, 36, 38, yeah. yeah. 37, 38 pounds. Middle of the day, fishing Block Island. This is actually one of the smaller ones. Yo, buddy, huh? That was nice awesome, fish. man. Nice fish. That's what it's all about right there. And when they come off the rocks, oftentimes the big fish will roll on the surface. Yep. You know, like that. Until they get to the boat, and then they just want to go straight, straight down. Straight to the bottom. That right was awesome, man. Home. Awesome. No, oh, great fish, Chris. Thank you. Great fish. have as much of a current pushing you back pushing in, so you way. have a lot of, you have to, uh, the tide pulling you out that way and the current pushing you this way. Now we're getting caught up by the current and that's a fish. That is a fish. <laughs> you knock on Joe's door, he's gonna answer. <laughs> oh Joe. boy. Oh boy. He hasn't stopped. Joe, you wanna start the boat and I'll just grab the rod? Yeah, you may need to. You stay on him. I haven't seen this braid in a while. You're right, that's... Oh, there he goes. Oh, man. Name of the game. 
You win some, you lose some. I think there may be some performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> These fish are like Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. <laughs> yeah, right. These fish are special. They got more oxygen than anywhere else. So what's the biggest fish you've heard caught out here at the buck? I'm not really entirely sure what the biggest fish is. I'll tell you what, last year I had a fish, like I said, it was around 70 pounds. And that was one the leader broke, right? Uh, the hook. hook. Oh, the hook broke. Hook broke right here. Right there at that joint. My, my best friend Justin looked at me and goes, that was the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. I go, yeah. He goes, well, maybe it was only 40 pounds, just trying to make me feel better. And I go, no, no, that one's going to keep me up. That one kept me up for a couple Come of on, nights. buddy. Oh, oh, you little loofah. There you go, Chris. Sometimes they just oblige you on that, you know? Yeah. Well, look at those head shakes. Um, wow. Sometimes they just mess around. Other times, it's just like, I am eating. <laughs> this was an I am eating. <laughs> I don't, that's a oh, bass. Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass. Came right up on the surface. Look at this guy. I bet there's one behind him. He's coming in quick. He is green. Sweet Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, he's bigger than he th I thought. It's funny because I've fished Block Island a lot and I've had success here, but I've never seen it the way that people talk about Block Island, you know? Right time, right place. If you're not here fishing in the right conditions, it's not going to work yeah. out, unfortunately. What a great day, huh? Oh, yeah, I can't beat this. Just a great day. You timed it perfect. Look at the head on that guy. <laughs> nice fish. I'm gonna back up. Watch that. You got him, Cap? Yep. Got him. You get a 35 pound fish and look, you know what? It's a nice fish. <laughs> Beautiful fish, Chris. Gorgeous. Oh. Oh. oh, whoa, 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 buddy, take your time. Oh, oh, oh. Little slap. Little slap. Little slap. Release. Nice fish. Joe, nice thank fish. you, buddy. Anytime. Middle of the afternoon. Really kind of grease calm conditions. Yeah. Got good moving water, though. I think you were saying we were about two knots. Uh, right now, we're three miles an hour, 2.3 knots. So you know that we're, we're moving over fish the whole time. Go, Joe. There he goes. At first, when you first started moving him this way, I wasn't sure, you know, you kind of moved yeah. him quick. Then all of a sudden, he peeled off some line. Yeah, he was pretty close, actually. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. Look at the one swimming with him. Oh, you see, you see him right here? There's two more behind him. There was there's, one that just peeled off right yeah, there's there. Two more right behind them. Big fish. Not a bad one. Look at the head on this thing. Oh. <laughs> Come here, fella. Okay. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Look at this beast. Joe, I'll tell you what, when you got it to the boat pretty quick. You had this thing, it seemed like right there, and then all yeah. of a sudden it just mm, 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 That mm, thing's a mm, big mm, fish, mm. huh? That's another 40 pound fish, oh, 40 yeah. plus. All right. Is that unbelievable? Look at that, huh? We'll go ahead and get this guy back in the water. She's good. Brother, that was awesome, man. Awesome. Great stuff. So Joe, I know you've been fishing your whole life, but you just recently in the last year or two started getting into guiding. You know, walk oh, me through sorry, Chris. the I'm seasons out. of catching big fish. Oh, right now. <laughs> Joe, huh? 
So I take it this is the striper time we're in right this now. This is the striper time right now. In a couple months, we'll start getting into Albies. We'll start getting into blackfish. Um, big bluefish will start showing up. All right, you're in reverse now. Okay. Just real slow. Keep it going back. Yeah, this is a good fish, I think. Well, we really haven't had a bad fish this afternoon. Should be coming up in a second. You close? Yeah, he's right there on the surface. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab him. Ready? You don't realize how big these heads are. They're big. Nice one. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that fish. What a fish to end the day on, Joe, huh? Yeah. Beautiful fish. We it. said we were getting a 30 pounder to finish this thing out. That's over 30 pounds. <laughs> Gorgeous fish, guys. Joe, I got the back end. Hey, Fishing Block Island Captain, Joe DiOrio, Chris Megan, you're watching On The Water Magazine's Angling Adventure. We've had just an incredible day. Let's get him back in the water, Joe. Sounds good. That is just beautiful. Over 15 years of filming On The Water's Angling Adventures has left me with many great memories from fishing with incredible captains in all kinds of picturesque locations. After spending two full tides with Jody Orio, I came to know another great captain who fished for all the right reasons. We laughed, shared stories, and caught and released some of the biggest stripers ever filmed. This trip to Block Island with Joe is one I will remember for years to come.